Sladgy here on Twitch. Thanks everybody for joining me. We're going to be hosting a 25 board, uh, 25 board simul here on Twitch and leechess.org. Hosting that on social media, my specialty. My social media skills, what is up here? All right. I'm good at self-promotion, not... All right, anyway. So everybody, welcome to the Simul. We're gonna be hosting a 25 board Simul as we do every Sunday. Thanks Mr. Slohan for subscribing here on Twitch. Welcome Astrobate, someone on sound. JCS, good to have you back. We had donations from Huga today, a little bit from Jim. Nils, of course, with a $25 streaming donation. Thank you for that, Mr. Nils, which we didn't realize right away. My apologies for not catching that fast enough earlier. All right, guys, here's the simul description. I'm going to host the new simul. Bring it up. On the chess.org, 25 board simul. WJ Luke just cheered a thousand bits. WJ Luke, you never make these simuls, right? Is this a bad time for you? Merry Christmas. All right. Mr. J. Loof, thank you for the 1,000 bit cheer, 25 emote share. Princess Chess is here, welcome. Your only time at home is on Sunday with a husband. No, it's fine. I just want to know if you if you could play or not. I wish you could. Sorry that it's not the right time. Uh, appreciate the donation. Guys, here's the rules for the Simul. 25 Twitch subscribers, regulars, and friends with a few noobs thrown in. Simul rules. There are no rules now. Use your time. Don't rush. Simul giver playing bullet. Basically, I have very limited time. Even though I have extra time, it gets divided up over 25 boards. So I really don't have that much time. Um, you guys have more time than me. So take your time a little bit. Don't rush. Please don't drop if you sign up. This is probably the most most importantest rule because there's only 25 places if somebody gets in and then quits after two moves somebody else loses a chance to play so please be considerate and don't sign up if you're gonna drop it's a long game that can last up to even more than three hours obviously no cheating engines or opening books are allowed donations and subscriptions appreciated by a PayPal switch so that's our description I've got um, to start accepting some players here all right, chat room, chat room, is someone on sound here? You can do the, you can do the honors of posting the link there. My keyboard is not the best. I have to use the on-screen keyboard to type numbers half the time. Only half my number key works. You just bought him six bottles of scotch for Christmas gift, wow. Mr. Slohan just mega cheered 2002. It is now called a mega cheer, apparently. He mega cheered 2002. I'm having trouble keeping up. All right, mega cheer. Huh? Two 1001, basically adding together to 2002. Stories from Far East and a Merry Christmas. Add a message to thank Mr. Slohan. I think just thanks is good enough. Very kind. Thank you, Mr. Bob, for joining us. Rarely seen. You still playing chess, Bob? Been cheating on me? Wow, six bottles of scotch for Christmas gift. Nice. We got 1,001, 2,002 bits for Mr. Slow. Mr. Slowhand, did you want to do... Did you want to do this Zen mode? It's up to you. As the Mega Cheer Master, um, we can start the Simon and Zen mode or not. Cafe Junkie we played before. Amoeboid. Didn't see Amoeboid today. This Human Amelie is a new player. Human Amelie. They did really well in our team battle today. Cafe Junkie I think we played before. Najpapa. Ruslan. 
Ruslan usually plays too fast. I'll take him, but I'm taking the subscribers first. Someone on sound. Sumaher. Even if you guys aren't subscribers, if you're regulars to the stream, you participate and take part. Yeah. You play a little with my engine accounts. Always a comic. Good to see your sense of humor is in place. Um, Princess Chess gonna play? Yay. Has Princess Chess ever played in a simul before? Damn, someone on sound. I'm not sure they were auctioning off that 16 year old scotch. That was already a taken gift, I think. Maybe WJLU should have an auction and buy even better stuff with the profits. Um, alright. What are we gonna do? Whiskey auction. Shiver Spieler, hi again. Mr. Slow? Alright, guys, we're trying to get the players in place here. Adesso, this is a lot of good players. So we're going to need some noobs to fill out the simul at the end who are low rated. Because we don't have too many low rated players. Jim, another strong player. Huh, Jim just froze. Is that my... Damn, it just froze on me. What's that about? Some bug. It's like a bug in the... Let me refresh this web web page. It's my... Chess Kudo, you're still in time, theoretically. We're still in time. Alright, we've got 13 players so far. B Jock. It was a bug. Stepped on a bug. Couldn't help it, I was thirsty. I started my beer already. We need to concentrate on coffee for the beginning of the simul. The beer just keeps me alive toward the end. <clears throat> in the middle, whatever. Chess Kudo, I haven't seen in a long time. Anybody who's a subscriber? Merci. Is Cheesy Noob? We don't have any noobs in the simul. Cheesy Noob? That's a lot of good players, though. 2,000, 2,000 strength, 2,000 strength, 2,000 strength, 1,800, 1,900, 2,000 plus, 2,000 plus, 1,900, 1,600, 2,000 plus, 2,100, 2,000 plus, 2,000. This is pretty solid from the look of the first um, 15 players. Nobody like murderously strong, but lots of players between 1,900 and 2100 in that group. So this... You played today against GM Tranquilizer? Who? Not me. Who are you talking to? Thanks, Jim. Up to a thousand for the week. Jim is now tied for third most donations. But Huga has it on tiebreak. Jim would be ranked fourth by tiebreak. Is it alphabetical? I think it's who, who gets there first. Thanks, Jim. I played Pop G today. I never played Tranquilizer in a streamer battle. Pop G is like 5-0 and o against me. It was crazy. I played um, I Impressive, and he played like 8 cent upon loss. Perfect game against me. And, and the other game I lost against Pop G was, was also... Almost no mistakes, although... For some reason, it looked like Pop G has a higher cent upon loss. I didn't really understand why. He must have missed some crushing move or something. All right, but very good play by a couple of opponents there. Uber driver. Who else is a subscriber before we get started? Mr. Slowman just donated a tier one gift sub to R. R. Hark. I want to say Shark. Thank you, man, for the gift sub. R. Hark, do you want to play? We gotta get this thing, we gotta get this show on the road here. It's already time to get started soon. Arhark, what's your account there? Are you in the simul? Let me check the list here. Please accept me, Sadra. 
Sandra asks politely, Jim gets through tie breaks for third place. Princess Chess, did you get knocked out? Or did you jump? Or Harkin? Hark! Or Harkin, you're not in the list. Do you know how to join the simul page? You accidentally dropped. All right. Our Harkin six five seven. I don't see you on the list. Make sure you're you're there. Okay. You're in. Morales. Morales and I were tilted in the in the team battle today. I started playing H four and A four. But I know what I'm doing. When I do that, I've done that like thousands of games. Believe it or not. Um, method to my madness. When I start randomly pushing my rook pawns in fast blitz. All right. Chess Kudo says his parents never accepted him. Good luck, Cormoran. Cormoran was our team leader today in the stream battle. He's pretty inconsistent. Sometimes Cormoran just crushes, like today. All right. What do we got? Mr. Moose, anyone else want to play? I'm trying to wake up here. 16 players. Someone on sound put in a really crazy donation. We're trying to start a bit war. Someone on sound just mega cheer, 2047 bits. Holiday mega cheer. Displacing Mr. So has the bit donation leader. And WJ to third, Jim now kicked out of the top three spots. We're doing Zen mode. I've got, I've got um, seven, eight, nine, ten places left. Someone just got knocked out. It looks like. Did you or did you not get knocked out? How much do you think? What? Simon lowers your rating. Probably I play like twenty two hundred level. I don't know objectively but I mean you know it's like trying to, to program a computer to play like a human I mean it's it's like I, even a 2200 wouldn't just make random blunders it's hard to make that assessment I mean I make crazy blunders where I drop pieces and stuff yeah I mean a couple hundred points probably I'm not able to play a deep game and it, it affects me my game has to be kind of shallow and not very tactical. More technical. Alright, we'll take Ruslan. We didn't take him for a little while. Because sometimes he plays too fast. What else are we going to do? Mr. So, 999. Nice try. Somewhat on sound. Swuss. Mr. So takes the lead with a 999. Zen mode. Donation. Yeah, stay on. Did you get kicked out again, Princess Chess? Damn. Take care and we get near start time, which will be soon. All right. We need a few more players. Let's get some lower rated players. Rogue. The Rogue. A. Let's see. Does he have enough games? Not really. I like to see people with an established rating. Igor S. Good, good, good. Igor's good. Zuckertor's pretty strong. Let's get some lower rated players to water it down a little. This drink's pretty strong. Secretariat. Bassman from the Netherlands. Unfortunately, is real provisional. No, oh, no. He's got enough games. Alright, just, just not active. Zuckertor seems familiar. Do we play before? All right, that's another strong player. Jeez. All right, now I really need lower-rated players. Five more players to go. Slaji is the best. Tata Steel. Al Ibn. Ibn from Kazakhstan. There are no weak players in Kazakhstan. Amiboy dropped out. We've got 21 players. Birthday's good. Just here with my family. What are we going to do? Rogue, we already looked at. Mr. Moose. 
Mr. Moose, all right. Pocahontas, I feel like Donald Trump. He's in. We've got 22, I feel like somebody else dropped out. Cobra 11 is here, another strong player. Last call for subscribers, I'm about to start. We're late already. Rocket, Rocket Urch asked to join please. Rocketeer Chess, you got no games, I can't accept you. I don't accept provisional peoples. Uber Driver, thanks for the donation as well, wow. Lots of generous donations for this pre-holiday simul stream. What else? We got three players to go. You're not playing anybody other other subscribers? Bob? T Red Wolf? Kinda strong. I'd rather get someone lower rated, Carlo. There's an awful lot of two thousand players in this in the simul. The average rating is fairly over nineteen hundred. You're in troll mode, okay. Behave yourself, you know how grumpy I get during simul time. Alright, Rogue, Lozo, and if you're bad, JCS is here to keep you under control. I've got almost enough players. Anybody drop out? Pterodactyl. Seriously, I gotta start. Notch Papa got knocked out again. What do we got? 24. A lot of provisional players here. NNGS from Serbia looks good. Alright, let's give them a shot. That's, that's 25. I'm starting. Starting. Sorry if I missed you. We can't wait forever. All right, so we do Zen mode for fun. Thank you guys for your donations, Mr. Sohan, the champion, with 3,001 so far. Someone on Sound 2047, WJ Lou 1500, Jim with a thousand. Nils donating a, a gift today. Thanks to all of you for the birthday presents. Sheber Spiller, thanks for just being our friend and our official title player present. All right, Huga, also 1,000 bits donated today. Thank you very much. Sorry for my bad pronunciations. If I, if I guess you, uh, uh, all right. All right, we got the message. Hopefully Sheba Spiller will lead the team next time. We need the uh, Reddington BL too. All right, I'm trying to get off this sleepiness. Usually I get kind of sleepy. It's nap time. It's almost nap time. No, I don't take naps. I, I enjoyed life better when I used to take naps. No time working too much. All work and no play. Vodka time. I wish. I wish. Too much alcohol for me on Friday night. I had a little too much to drink Friday night. I was not drunk, but a little bit. Unpleasant the next day. I think we're going to stay on just one beer. Just one beer. All right. Let's go. We try to... Um, I'll play a Queen's Gambit with black. I don't really play D45 too much. Try to be serious but have fun here at the same time. Um, but I have to be careful not to get in really bad time pressure. So I'll try to move it along. There's a B6, which of course the first suspect is Acerbate, although he's moved away from playing B6. Scared Knight, you just missed it. Yeah, thanks for playing for our team today. You did a good job. Basmania. Yeah, I mean, I have to try to rule that, use that rule to play non, non-rated 
to not to avoid the unrated player spasmania because a lot of people tend to drop out of the simul and that's much more prevalent when it's someone who doesn't have an established account so i i try to avoid players who are likely to drop out um because if if that happens then someone gets robbed of a chance to play no petrov i was trying to fill a door a little bit jim is there still action after simul the action is in my dreams it's actually really hard for me to fall asleep no i'm gonna start by the way guys I have a lesson, a new lesson on Mondays after my streams. What about you, uh, Schieber Spieler? Are you streaming on Mondays? Because um, I'm going to have to like end my stream a little, start and end my streams a little earlier on Mondays, just in case anyone is going to be around tomorrow morning. Watermelon and vodka is the way to go. Listen, um, I don't really like cider, but I had some really nice watermelon cider this summer I'm not a cider drinker that was tasty stuff though um but I was saying Monday morning I'm gonna have to uh this is Jim probably played d5 Jim knows what I, he knows what to do against me here the London system I forgot to say the London system was banned that's my favorite joke again alcohol talk Alcohol relieves stress. Um, Scandinavian. Who plays the Scandinavian? Is that Chef Master? We have to find someone on sound who'll make a bigger donation, he said. I don't care if you guys meet the stream or not. That's totally up to you guys. Chigor in defense, interesting. Um, but what I was trying to say, I've got to finish my thought. By the way, I. What am I doing here? This could be Jim as well. What was the move order? Damn, there's two B3s. Now, how am I going to know like which one is Jim? <sighs> what would Schieberspieler do? Monday stream is going to be starting 15 minutes early at around 10.45 a.m. and ending 15 minutes early. No. No, I've got to end faster. I have something at 1 o'clock tomorrow, so I have to end the stream at um, half an hour earlier. So we're going to be starting 15 minutes early, ending about half an hour early. So if anybody is streaming after me, like Shiver Spieler, keep in mind I'm gonna be I'm gonna be finishing right before one o'clock. I've gotta be I gotta be ready to start my lesson with a new student at one o'clock tomorrow. Alright. So tomorrow's stream starts at ten forty five AM C E T. Not eleven. I do streams Monday through Friday, but I alternate between mornings and evenings. Saturdays off and Sundays are dual streams. That's our basic schedule. So what is this? C3? This, this, I don't know. It couldn't be. The C3 makes me think of Cheesy New. I'm suspicious, but not convinced yet. I've never seen Cheesy New do a Fianchetto. Probably just someone random. So Princess Chess, I'm starting early. I have new lessons at 1 o'clock uh, European time on Mondays. So I have to start early and end early. Probably um, start guessing who's who here. No, not every, uh, every Monday, probably. Yeah, I'm going to be starting earlier on Mondays. For now, Mondays. 
Yeah. We're probably going to cut the short stream 15 minutes. Cut the stream short 15 minutes. And um, I've got to be on time for my student. Could you change your board to match mine? What are you talking about? Is it a Ralph Lauren shirt? It's a sweater. It's a sweater, yeah, it's a polo. My drama is really into fashion, typical French person. Are you into cooking? I don't remember where I got this. Um, yeah. I was trying to remember actually where I was told Bob that orange looks good good on me what do you think we got an emote thanks to J loose cheer is that old or new am I getting old stuff on my I think I'm reading old cheers on Streamlabs. crazy all right what am I doing here I'm reading the old old stuff on Streamlabs. this is probably Jim I suspect this one is him. I know someone that only wears from the sock to the perfume. They only wear Ralph Lauren. Yeah, I, I had a roommate. He was obsessed with Ralph Lauren too in college. It's like Mr. Polo. We used to go on like shopping excursions. I had like the ultimate preppy roommate. Yeah, I, I don't remember where I got this. I'm trying to remember. I didn't pay full price in a Ralph Lauren store. That's a huge mistake, as Bob is, as Bob is pointing out. There was also like Chinese knockoffs and stuff. I mean, they're definitely fake, fake um, fashion stuff out there. You gotta be careful, Bob. All right, what am I doing here? Yeah, it's a good way to make money selling fake Ralph Lauren. And Gucci clothes on eBay. That's my eBay channel. The eBay channel has been channeled, has been uh, brought up, but there's nothing on my eBay. Temporarily out of stock. Um. Yeah, I was on the five-year program. So this is the fake gym. Wait a minute, H3? Seriously? Wait, how did this go? You played H3 and then Knight F3? Would Jim do that? He might. That's a weird move order. Love for Catalans. So what am I doing? Who's playing the Owen? Astro, you wouldn't go back to playing the Owen defense, would you? all the progress Shiva's Spieler will play Bishop D7 here but I don't really have another good move this is insipid but I don't think I have a choice it equalizes man who's playing the Rosalima with white yeah it's horrible to play that move it's so passive looking but I am black you know what am I going to do I normally don't like to do that, but you do it with white in the Nimza. I don't know about that. That's, as I said in the stream before, um, Capablanca and Alyokin have both played that, actually. Bishop d2 Nimzo. My friend had a friend in high school who was a master who used to play Bishop d2 against the Nimzo. I suspect this still could be Jim. This is still Jim, maybe. There's two Jims. Dual Jims. All right, queenie two check. That doesn't seem right. <coughs> doesn't seem right, but what? 
You're not in the simul, are you, Shiva Spiller? I hope not. Or I'm really in trouble. Why am I playing the main line? Queen's Gambit accepted. Oh, he played Knight C3. That's good. But London is probably Ayesta. Guys, thanks for all the generous donations today. I don't know if even cheesing me would be weird enough to do that. And which one of you played Bishop B4 in the English? The highest rated here is Uber. Is Cormoran in the simul? Okay. Uber's gotten up there. He's um. He's cracked around 2200 lately. Bob subscribed for 38 months. You ordered a chicken sandwich yesterday? Breaded chicken wing. Nice. At least it wasn't a rat. There was that rat at a fast food place in New York City two years ago or whatever. At least you didn't get the fried rat. Whatever. At least it's really chicken, you know? I mean, that's not, not bad. Almost made a mistake here. Crunchy. Rookie one. Okay, I'm starting to like forget what's up with this line. Move order tricks, but there's no C3. Who plays this? I guess E5 is a principled move. Rather weird, but we'll try it. Someone on sound, would you play the Henning Shire Gambit? I mean, it totally fits your style. I might have even recommended it to you. You guys think that someone on sound would possibly play the Henning Shire Gambit with black? To try to trip me up? It could have been rat. Rat isn't that crunchy. Well, it depends on what part of the rat you're eating. This knight takes c6 is not a good, not a good move. D5 is possible here. Do you want to try that? I'm not really sure about it. Okay, um, Vienna Gambit, not, not my forte. I did recommend it. Okay, this doesn't look like Jim. I don't think he would do that. Is Jim even in the simul? Can we get a confirmation? Mr. Coffee, what's up? Can we get a confirmation Jim is actually in the simul? He's always in the simul, right? Yeah. Playing the Sheeper Spieler. E6 is so passive. The other option to play G6 is possible, or Queen C2. Um, interesting. Kind of passive setup. I'm not crazy about it. I don't want to play the Frankenstein Dracula variation. It's not sound right for black, but I don't know it well enough. I guess theoretically it's supposed to be better for white. But um, who the heck knows. The last time I checked with the engine, it was like awful for black. We have dual moderators. Dueling moderators. That's cool. All right, the Catalan, old school for Schieber Spieler. We can have double Catalans. I haven't really paid much attention to the new stockfish. This could be, this could be someone on sound too. 
Someone on sound playing white. Very possible. Suspicious, even. I'm a paranoid kind of guy, so... This is likely to be cheesy noob, I suspect. Strongly. Definitely not Jim, though. At least we've ruled that out. Crazy, weird, B3 player. You're good at 3-0 and weak at 5-3. Well, I mean, math skills are extremely important in 3-0. If you want to check my game with I am Pressive, he was never winning the whole game until like the last five moves. When I got down to like 15 seconds, I I freaked out and lost the drum position. I mean, wow. But the guy played eight CPL in uh, in our game. No, I mean the mouse is super important. Sack or queen? I wonder about bishop a3, queen e8, queen e8, bishop a3. I'll, I'll take my chances. Oh, this reaction. This was like the game of my life. Oh, I lost to this 2100. I wanted to kill myself. I, I lost because I avoided a draw by rep in the Hungarian Team Championship last year. Uh, this guy was like the most annoying player. Have you ever played Piroshka Istvan Schieberspieler? Oh. I don't know what it is about him, but he's like the most annoying opponent of all time. He was doing this thing where I don't think he realized he does it, but he's like constantly doing some kind of motion at all times. He moves really fast, kind of like he's playing Blitz. He's like a 2100, former, I guess he's a FIDE master. But he has this thing where he's constantly doing some kind of hand or, or body motion at all times. So I'm like sitting there trying to like concentrate, but he's literally moving something all the time. If it's not his turn, he's like picking stuff up, putting it down, picking it up, moving, touching pawns. So like it starts to get on your nerves and and, and you can't like concentrate it was terrible once I started to realize he was doing it I couldn't stop thinking about it and it started to drive me more and more crazy But I finally like was in time pressure and, and had to take a draw by repetition. But I didn't want one. So I lost. That's why I'm like 20, 23, 20, 29 now or whatever. I lost like 8 points against him. Or whatever the maximum is. Almost the maximum. I'm sitting there with like five seconds left and I have to take a draw of a repetition two pawns down and I just didn't want to do it. I freaked out and I like, I told this on the stream last year when it happened, but I, I rarely lose my temper completely, but I just, um, Uber driver already played this against me. So that's Uber driver, not someone on sound. Um, I, uh, I, I ripped up my score sheet and threw it in a trash can. Like, I was acting like Nakamura's stepfather or something. <laughs> it was totally, like, classic childish behavior. But I was so pissed, you know. It was, it was absolutely ridiculous to lose a game where the guy had literally no, no winning chances the whole game. I just was... I was out of control, angry at myself. He was, like, literally playing for a draw... At best, the whole game. And I didn't want to accept a draw. How about b5 here? No, that's not going to happen.
People are the worst. I, I prefer playing against animals. And I'm supposed to take. I rarely lose my composure completely in real life tournaments, but it's happened once or twice. I just was like pissed because it was the second time. The first time against the guy I was winning too and I, I allowed him to draw. It was like the second time I played him in, in like so many months. And it was like he scores one and a half points out of two lost positions against me. I literally lost like 15 rating points to this guy. At least I beat him in rapid chess in like January. I think my last rapid tournament. Why is this position so mysterious for me? I've probably played this with white, but it's weird. I don't know what to do with black. Hmm. I'm slowing down way too much. All right, we're gonna stop for a second. Try to gain our composure. Yeah, I don't know if the queen's getting accepted with black, really. It's a problem. Someone on sound? See if my instincts are right about who's who here. The who's who of the slaggy simul. <clears throat> Queen on d3 now. That's kind of curious. I tried to play a sort of Catalan, but I guess we're back to the Rady. So the guy played b5 against me. It's a really annoying line. Um, I think, in fact, like maybe white shouldn't even play d4 here. I guess I faced him twice in the same line. Bishop e4. Why did I play rook d1 in this game? That's not a move you normally play, but whatever. That's life. So if I go out here... Hmm... A lot of people are playing quite quick. Yeah, this player is totally from another planet. I don't think even Cheesy Noob can play this weird. I suspect this is Astrobate, but I could be wrong too. I'm not convinced. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not happy with this. QGA setup I've chosen. Who had a classical Nimza with me in this line? There was somebody in the not so distant past. B5, A3, Pontic C4. That's a little bit mental. Maybe I can hit the C pawn with Bishop A6. Bishop A6, A3, Bishop A5. How does he defend his C-pawn? Weird idea. This has got to be princess chess. I mean, nobody plays the Banco. Dead giveaway. Cheesy noob. <laughs> Is that you? For real? Notch Papa. 
This is Uber Driver, again with that line, dude. Come on, can't you think of something new? Damn, Uber Driver. Come up with something new, man. That's, that's getting boring already. Alright. Two times in a row with that? There was a guy who I told you who played that against me in the BU Open 20 years ago. Now I can't remember who it was. I think it was early round, so. It was a weaker open. 1700, probably. Level player. I thought it was an anomaly, but now I've seen it pop up from time to time. Anomalies! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Queen C8, a classic Canalan plan. Speaking of Nodge Papa, is that what you were saying, Shiver Spieler? For this Catalan with Bishop E4? Move 11 is the resident black side of the Catalan expert among my regulars. He beat me. But white missed the chance, let's see. Actually, I can play knight, knight c3. This looks kind of interesting, no? Oh, the classical nims, I guess. No. No, he plays knight f3. I don't understand how this variation is, is okay for black, but I guess I'll have to come up with something more in that line. What's up here? Wow. Weird. This is like the phone, phone computer engine style play. Anyone who knows any theory doesn't play this for white. But I see lots of people who don't know any theory or or phones playing this. It's a Nokia, the Nokia attack. Because I used to, um, people like poker player friends of mine would always ask, like, hey, can you beat my phone? That's classic, sort of. Classic sort of friendly bet, you know, for people who don't know chess too well. Um, queen a5, knight g4. Et phone home. Here's another one. Only move pieces, no pawns. Phones don't move pawns, generally. They haven't mastered pawn play yet. It sounds like a Stephen King horror short story or something. There was the one about the... One of his short stories about a possessed machine. Um... It was a something out of dry cleaner. No, no, not Christine. No, there was this one about this. The, it was called the the um, the Mangler. It was a dry cleaning machine that like killed people, like a giant dry cleaning press or something like that. Good stuff. Pleasant. So this is, I guess, our our friend. Um, yeah, I guess that. Back to the London system, which I love. <clears throat> I really do love it. He has a new short story collection. I want to get it for Christmas. 
How much effect does Bishop G5 here have anyway? We'll see. Alright, D6. You're one of those guys who reads Michael Crichton on the beach. Honey, can you pass me the Michael Crichton book? Okay, Bob. All right, what are we gonna do? We've stopped D4. Zen mode will continue until um, a little bit later. Mr. Coffee, you're not in the simul, are you? As I see a b3, bishop d3 type setup. The uber driver, uber driver variation. Rook takes d2. Yo. With the queen b3, check this guy out. Who is this? I can't re recall ever playing this. How did white get such a sharp position with this bad move order? Knight c3 right away? Like, who plays that move? And I let him get away with this? A4. I probably played this position with white. And now I, I'm supposed to play bishop b7. So I exchanged and knight b4 right away. I mean, I'm concerned he's going to play d5. Now the most aggressive possible continuation for white. It's a little bit disturbing. This is just totally wrong. It shouldn't have happened. What is going on here? This is a pseudo Sveshnikov? That is so weird. What is going on here? H6? Pseudo Sveshnikov. I've never seen anything like this. Weird. Yeah, I mean, even knight c4, I'm not sure about. We'll give it a shot. This is probably Notch Papa. White dropped a queen. There are two people who tried to sack pawns against me with b5 before, but I don't think that's 100% sound. You like waiting the pseudo Sveshnikov? A4 reaction. I guess it's not such a bad move. All right, so now knight g4. Yes. Who's playing black here in the Vienna? I'm wondering if my move order was wrong, but I'm also trying to remember back to Soltis games I saw in Confessions of a Grandmaster. Knight, D, knight e2, he just plays pawn takes pawn. That's Is that a problem for me? Yeah, probably. Not great. But I guess it's playable. Pawn takes pawn, pawn takes pawn. Not exciting. I'm loving it. Knight e2, bishop g4 is also possible. Yeah, I don't love this. Probably a mistaken move order. Now, perfect white side of the, the Rouser. Shearer Spiller, did you ever meet Langel Bela? You must have, right? Before he died? Well, you were pretty young. He used to play that line. One of the few people I know who play like Bishop e5, Bishop g5 against the Rouser. It's an old line called the Richter attack. Thus, Richter Rouser. 
Not too many people actually play that for white. I basically don't even remember what I'm supposed to do. All right, we get a queen c2. We had a queen c2 now on a4 Catalan. Bishop a6, bishop g5 has been played. Man. Bishop g5, not very nice. Hypo aggressive. Oh man, c5. Of course, what else would you play? Am I in trouble already? With the queen on c8, you'd think there'd be some kind of issue. But I don't think so. I think I'm in trouble. Oh, you never met him. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he played some old school lines with white against the Sicilian that were not really fashionable. The He was a good black side of the Royal Lopez player, too. That, um... He was a solid IM. Not a bad player. Not great, but not bad. Legit. Legit. Um, you know, sometimes there's some weaker IMs who aren't really... Like, say, barely got to 2400. But I think he was better than that. You know, he was a solid... Solid 2400. Player. Acerbate, definitely. Why are you going back to your B6, man? Somebody sacked a piece there. Bailey used to always play in the first Saturday tournaments. Alright, Princess. Why did I put my bishop on d3? I thought I was playing the Benoni. We're going to actually transpose to one of Princess's games, I think, pretty soon. I'm playing exactly like... Exactly like one of her opponents. What am I doing here? I can't believe I did a4 in Chigorin. Dude, I totally spaced and I thought I was playing the <laughs> thought I was playing the Slav. I saw where my pieces are, and I didn't bother to check where Black's pieces were. And I thought, okay, it's time to play a4. That is ridiculous. I can't believe I did that. A4 is not appropriate there. Sometimes I do some weird stuff. This may be Naj Papa. I'm a little bit concerned about my position. I think this is someone on sound. His new fangled style. Dude, the position is almost symmetrical. Just our bishops on a different square. I'm heading toward a Fianchetto. Alright, thank you for the dark square bishop. That's a relief. Now, if I play knight d7, you take on g7, so that's out. But my white sacrifice is really unsound. Playing too fast. Okay, I can play knight b6 here. Is it even a good move? That's a damn good question. The pseudo... Pseudo Sveshnikov. And this is nothing for white. It's like I'm playing... I started out playing the Vienna, but now I'm playing like a crappy... A crappy sort of... Um, what's it called? The Dunst opening. Our friend Yubatis would like it. Knight e2. Huh. I thought this was someone on sound, but I don't know. That seems passive by his standards. Wait, this is the different game? This is a different game. I'm crazy. That's crazy. Look at the pieces. It's so similar to the other one. I thought this was the... I thought this was the Philidor one, but my pod's on c5. And all my pieces are almost identical squares. That's funny. It's a totally different position. I got them mixed up. I was like, no, wait, someone on sound wouldn't do that. That's too passive. It's funny. 
slightly different position. Um, funny, funny. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do, man? Knight h5? No. Classic rookie 8. We'll transpose. Alright, guys. King h8. Is this the... This is the Piroshka game? No. Early b5. It's kind of hard to get anything going here. Rook d1. Damn, white is ag white is aggressive. I'm out of here. But I'm curious who this could be. I mean, who among among you guys is like the master white side of the Nimzo player? Man, I think this is theory, but I don't remember bishop a6 being a move. But if it's theory, it's not good theory for me, man. Who is this? I'm about to get blown away. Wait, just like a master. Well, that'll make guessing one, one game a little easier. You may not be a master, but you're definitely playing like one. I think I might have blundered. Very few people know this much theory with white, even even strong players. It's a very unusual line. Um, most people probably wouldn't get to, uh, to e4, c5, d5, knight e2 without making a mistake. Bishop a6 is a blunder, but this line is bad for black now. I'm probably lost already. You were lost after after I played queen e7. Yeah, I think it's just a winning position for white. Or damn close to one already. Bishop a6 was a blunder. I can't do this. White's play is too strong. I can probably resign here. Basically. Just lost for black. Bishop takes c3. Knight takes c3, bishop takes f1, I'm toast. I guess it doesn't matter what I play. I mean, there's no, no way I'm surviving this. Bob, I'm not going to survive to an endgame in this position. This is like lost immediately. You can probably resign now. No, you want to torture me? He said, please don't resign. Like, why? So you can have the enjoyment of torturing me? Why would you not want your opponent to resign? I don't understand the logic behind that. Like seriously, what sort of player wouldn't want their opponent to resign? Check out my other games, I will definitely screw up somewhere. Yeah, I have time to do that now. Sure. I'll check them out. Go check it out, Wendy. Um, I'll let you know. He already played and won the game, dude. It's over. Please don't start, Bob. I can just resign here. It's a totally lost position. There's no way I can survive. I totally forgot what I was doing there. My opponent offered me a draw. I mean, if I try to play that game, I'm going to waste so much time on it. I'm going to lose all my other games trying to save it out of a totally hopeless position. So I'm just going to resign. That, that position is too bad. 
Here might put an offer to draw prematurely. Why so quickly offering a draw? Under normal strength circumstances, I would play it out. But I mean, again, if I try to save that position, I'm having trouble even finding a move. Imagine like I'm going to lose all my other games on time. Every time it's my turn in that game, I'm just going to be like screwed. I'm going to lose minutes every single move. Remember when Uber driver beat me in the same exact line before? Or did I get a draw? No, it's a lost position, I'm telling you. It's a lost position. I'm not exaggerating. There is no way that black can survive. Of course, if we're like, going to drop pieces, but he already played the opening like he's a, a title player. I mean, most people who are 2,000 can't get that far. It's pretty new theory. Not everyone knows it, including me, obviously. Um, I'm not, not going to fare well there. I'm just trying to be practical. I, there's no way I'm going to lose a whole bunch of games on time trying to save a hopeless position in one of my other games. I'll just bag it. It's a legitimate loss. It's not like, you know, I'm protest resigning or something. Now Queenie 8, the guy has 28 minutes. Who is this? Seriously. Dude, human anomaly is new, but please don't do this. I'm just going to resign that too. 28 minutes is ridiculous. Not interested. Um, that's exactly what I put in the in the description of the simul. Please don't play bullet chess. I'm not interested playing people collecting like 30, 40 minutes in the game. That is a protest resignation. There's no need for that. The other one was a legit resignation. But if you do that to me, it makes it very hard for me to play in the simul. Please read the description in the simul, simul page. I'm not here to play against people who are playing bullet chess against me. Or for you guys to try to win on time. You're missing the point of the whole simul by doing that. No big deal, I can concentrate on other games. If, I think that's the first time I've ever had anyone get up to 28 minutes though. Seriously. I don't think anyone's ever gotten to 30 against me. Pretty sure. Now hopefully we can bear down and get some wins. But it's the point of the thing, you know, the principle of it. I'm not here to play against people who are playing bullet chess against me. And if you're going to do that, I'm just not going to play that game. So maybe next time. I've got a modern defense. I don't mind if you, you know, but at least spend like 15 or 20 seconds on a move. He was like making every move in, in two seconds. So he was banking 30 seconds every move. I mean, what's the point? You're not even thinking. You're just trying to play as fast as humanly possible. Please read the simul description. All right, we'll play a hippo, I guess. I would prefer if everybody would at least spend 15, 20 seconds on your moves. There's no need to play that fast. This is not a five minute simul that a lot of those people like Zhigalco do. I can understand you're making your moves in those simuls like instantaneously. This is like a classical three hour simul. There's no need to do that. All right, anyway, we can concentrate. Who's the Smashtakov? The Neo. Now I played Bishop F8 and you go Bishop G5. Now what am I gonna do? Practical and calm. No, I'm just... That's that's my rule.
this is uh, interesting. If I see someone with 28 or 30 minutes, I'm just resigning. There is no point. Period. No, but I mean, whatever, Cheaper Spieler. That's why you're not in my simul. You don't need to be in my simul. You're you're almost as strong as me by ELO rating already, so. If someone's that good, they don't have to think against me, then they probably shouldn't be playing. Alright. H4. Weird. Well, in over the board chess, it's a different thing, you know? I've learned to uh, to deal with that, but it's a different situation. I'm not playing 25 boards at the same time. If they want to do that and waste their time, that's fine. In over the board game, one-on-one, -on -one, I don't mind. You know, I'm actually glad if they do that. So what's this e5? Whoa. Bishop takes c4. This looks like a problem. I have to play d5. And I screwed this up. I told you guys a4 was a bad move. Zen mode. I suspect, suspected this was someone on sound. Like, I don't mind if you have your starting time, but you shouldn't have like eight minutes more than you started with. That means you're playing for time, not the point of the simul. Anybody can sit there and take 20 seconds on your moves, it's not a big deal. Acerbate, you've been probing with your bishops again. I'm not saying people should sit there and spend, you know, five minutes on their moves or something. Just just not have ten minutes more than you started with at move ten or something. It's ridiculous. Um Alright. This is a weird game. I wonder who this is. There was a weird move by White, like, so this is Jim? No wonder it's so good. I was surprised that Jim took with a knight on d4. I forgot this was Jim, but our theory was that this was Jim. Yeah, he takes with the knight to keep the bishop open. So this is Jim. I'm going to make my first guess. Ta da All right, we got one. Look at the way he's controlling the e5 square. I mean, I knew. Ready to make my guess, Bob. Jim's solid. There's not much play for black here, though. What the heck can you do? It's kind of awkward. He's got really good control of the e5 square. So I don't like the Schieber Spieler setup. One win, zero draws, two losses. I got a win already? This is the, uh... Should I take with a pawn? Can I play pawn takes? I don't really like it. I don't know what is with me. I played a4 in two positions where it was wrong. I did it against the Chigorin, and now I did it in the Catalan. What the heck? God, that's embarrassing. Man, h6, whoever's playing this game, 
is like a black side of the Jigoran connoisseur. Who could this be? Mr. Slow? Did you play that against me? Who played Bishop B4? In the Rosslimo reversed. So I'm down one. Thanks for the list, Mad Ramus. The problem is I can't remember who it was. My bishop sucks. Deep positional play by black. Dude, who is this? And the kind of unconventional approach too with the b6 on the queen side. c5. That is kind of weird, but it's it's good. Princess chess is easy. Nobody plays the Banco. <sighs> Full-blooded hippo. I guess this is Cheesy Noob acting crazy. He doesn't like to play um, really rational stuff. I guess A4 there. <laughs> Worth a try. This could be Nodge Papa. He played a lot of games in similar lines against me. Who knows how to play the black side of Chigorin? I don't know any of you guys who play the Chigorin. But I've made two horrifying blunders for some reason, I don't know. With A4. Opening mistakes today are pretty rife. Two A4s, and then the other game with black in the classical Nimzo where I played bishop A6, like losing the game. Pretty much instantaneously losing that other game. The horrible Chigorin with white, though I don't know anybody in the stream who plays the Chigorin. Which is kind of weird. One of the new players plays the Chigorin. Was it, um, where's our list? Consulting the list. Um, wait. No. No, I don't have an idea for a Chigorin player. Princess just just playing knight g4. I know this is her. Bump. Yeah. All right, so we got two for two on the guesses. Those were easy. Aster Bates, the next victim. Even if I can't play well, I can guess who you are. This was totally weird. I put my bishop on d3. Doesn't seem right. It's not right in this kind of line. I play. I, I like thought I was playing the Benoni or something. Weird. So whatever. I think this is Ayeste. Damn, it's not. Cobra. Broke our London rule. Not allowed to play the London. Oh man, I got the window open. Ah, I forgot. Hungarian ambulance. Alright, Cobra 11. We did not get that correctly. Crazy peace sacrifice guy. I have no idea who you are. I guess this is someone on sound. Yes! I did it! K 
can't believe it. Yes. He said he would donate if I guessed who he was. I got three out of four. Um, on the guesses. It's even a little passive by his standards. I started to have second thoughts with Queen D2. Someone of sound donated a thousand bits. Thanks, man. Um, someone of sound may be the new leader in chat donations. 3047. But I had some clues. I had some clues about this. Knight H5? What do I do? Thanks, man. Yeroon's here. Hmm. Yeroon, three moderators in one stream. That's awesome. The whole team, the moderation team. See, when Bob's here, all the moderators get like an alert warning. And they're all coming to the stream to make sure everything's okay. Make sure everyone's behaving themselves. I don't think he's still a mod, is he? Um, maybe. Alright, I told you to behave yourself on Simon Sundays, Bob. Don't forget, keep yourself in line. Now what do I do? It's a strange position, White's position looks kind of passive, but... I don't know, D5. Weird. Can I do this? This is Astro Bait, that'll be four. Damn, it's not? Oh my god. It's not King on Adesso playing a really messed up opening. Whoa. I didn't guess Acerbate, but I still have a chance. Dude, after the probing Bishop G5 move, are you serious? I thought that was Acerbate for sure. Wow. I never get Acerbate wrong. That was a shock. Um, I thought this is this was Chef Master. No, it's Coffee Junkie. We're getting some wrong answers here, some false positives in the mix. So I have no idea where Astrobate is, actually. We could be in mild trouble here. Bishop takes c3. This is a weird game. What do I do after pawn takes pawn? How am I going to protect my, my f7 point? Man, this looks kind of problematic. The d5, I didn't realize you could still do it so powerfully. Pawn d5, knight d5, knight d5, bishop takes. I guess I'll just have to sack a pawn. There's no other way to do this, really. Takes, knight takes, knight takes, bishop takes. The h4 really gets me. Wow. And they've used no time. Must be a strong player. h4 is very unconventional. Wow, every piece is like attacking. Very unconventional. Little theoretical knowledge. Weird. Bishop takes c3. Might be the safer move here. The lamer move. Lamer. Okay, so this is Astrobate. Does that make sense? Mm. Astrobate playing with King's India with c5? No. That's stretching it. I'm gonna guess this is Mr. Slow. It's R. Harkin. I always guess every King's Indian is Mr. Slow. Wrong. 
Cheesy noob? Yes. We got Cheesy noob. How many is that now? You can't hide Cheesy noob. No matter how ridiculous stuff you play, I still know it's you. You guessed on a move. Yeah, he's been doing the C3 a lot. He tried to cover his tracks, though. He tried to cover his tracks by playing weird after that. Um, I was thinking A4 now. You guys meet at the bookstore? Um, no. All right. Be careful meeting Bob at the bookstore. It sounds like a recipe for disaster. All right. We've got rookie eight. This is a good player. Creative opening approach. I can't remember who played this bishop before. Could that be Mr. Slow? We're going to guess him again. Damn, it's Mr. Moose? Mr. Something. At least I was right about the Mr. I gotta get my bishop out somehow. Mr. Mister. Now queen takes e3. This player has used no time at all. But what? Whoa. I don't get it. What's going on here? Damn, who plays the Chigorin? And I like playing against Chigorin and I messed it up by playing a4. What am I doing? I'll never forgive myself for this. It's a disaster. My e4 pawn is just hanging? <sighs> Summon on sound, you're playing the Chigorin? Seriously? No, I already guessed him. Um, actually, the dc4 is the best line. dc4. We know who Uber Driver is, so it's not him. But I can't get it. It's got to be someone new. I don't know. I've got to see the Mad Ramus list. Chess Kudo, I don't know. Maybe a Me Boy. But it's too much time. It can't be a Me Boy. I don't know who could be Chef Master. It's Mr. Slow. Wow. Nice job, Mr. Slow. Playing the Chigorin with black. And I can't believe I played A4. It's unbelievable. I played freaking A4, the worst move in the history of chess. No, no. DC's not 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 DC's the best move for black. Knight f3 is good. d5 is not that good. No, knight f3 is right, but I'm supposed to play e4 now. And for some reason I had some mental... Mental... Loss of control. <laughs> I just did that. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't know who this is. Ruslan? Yes! How many is that now? Is anybody counting? I got Ruslan. Ruslan. The Russian bear. Um, is that six guesses? Correct. Kind of makes up for my crappy play. To some degree, this could be Notch Papa. Real solid and quick. You want to guess Notch Papa? It's Chef Master. Chef Master changed styles on me. He's gotten more and more, like, correct and solid. No, we're not on seven. No way, I got seven. Six, I think. I think I got six guesses. Chef Master's changing styles. Master styles. I can't believe it. Where did this new chef, chef master come from? He was like a maniac before. 
At least it seemed that way to me. Now he's like Mr. Solid. We got princess chess already, but this stupid variation, what am I doing? I've, I've done this in numerous games. I've, I've played something I don't know what I'm doing. A4, blundered twice. That Nimzo where I butchered it. Usually in the opening, I'm kind of okay. I've lost or messed up like three games. At least three games already because of blatant opening mistakes. Who plays the white side of the Rosalimo? I don't know, I don't know. Um, Morales is in the stream. Oh. Yeah, Morales, see, he's hiding up there in VIP list, so I didn't see him. That's how... That's how... Um, I, I didn't see him in the VIP list. I don't think this is him. Bishop e5 check Sicilian. I don't think this is a regular. Reasonable player, but... Not, like, quite as aggressive and not the right opening to be Antonio. It's a good question who this is. I don't know. Um... I'm gonna guess. I'm just gonna guess who this could be. Too slow to be. No, it's a me boy. Um, I don't know you guys well enough. Chess Kuda. Who the heck plays the Ross Lima? Do you want to guess like Chess Kuda? It's N N G S. Okay. I have no clue. Obviously, I can't guess the brand new players. This is Jim, right? We already guessed Jim. Jim was first. Now the Schieberspieler maneuver, a la Rubenstein. Oh no. Wait. Hmm. This is a funny game. So it's over, right? I wonder who this is. Queen G3, game over. It's pretty sick. They had to play d4 and block the diagonal. Oh my god. It's not game over. But I have to do this. It's not game over. He sacks the exchange, but whatever. He's down a lot of material already. But it's not game over. Damn. It's not game over unless it's game over. I have 94. 94 is cute. Yeah, 94 is cute. Warning. Wonder if he saw it. I mean, he knew to play rook a4 and take on h4. I'm up too much material here. This was Cafe Junkie, right? He's pretty busted. Bus, bust only. All right, anyway. Sometimes I say like bad words in Hungarian by accident. But if I do, it's like absolutely, it's absolutely an accident. All right, I don't know what I'm saying. My Hungarian is too weak for... properly using bad language. Pure accident. What do we got? This Yabatis attack. King's Indian with no bishop. This is probably Morales. It makes, it fits his... Would he play e45? Actually, what does Morales play? I guess e4. Could this be Morales? He was playing the modern? 
You guys want to guess Morales? Oh my god! How did I know that? It was E4, E5. Morales playing E4, E5. I could feel it, you know? I could feel it. It was like he was white. I felt his positional play. But this is a guy who I've played 300 games with, you know? You've played 300 games, you can just feel it when you're playing with somebody. Good job, Morales. You never play a damn normal knight f3 move. <laughs> what do you mean? You're always complaining when I play knight f3. Um, oh, you mean on move two? Like we we don't we're not allowed to play move move one knight f3. But if I don't play knight f3 on move two, he's angry. Um, that's funny. We have to play knight f3 when he wants us to play knight f3. All right, we got that seven. Nice. This is a crazy move, A5. Alright, I'm gonna reveal who's who pretty soon. I gotta get out of here. But, um... Nanadeso tried his best to look like Acerbate. He did an Acerbate imitation game. Bishop F6 check. We saw Ruslan was playing this. Black is lost here. Um, I don't know who it is, but they're playing too fast. Master Puneros just played a little too fast. He's in trouble now. I couldn't guess that. This is Princess. <clears throat> this is the new chef master new improved and impossible to beat I got seven guesses you can always look at the board and then you just have to ask yourself does the opponent have good control of e5 you know and if they have good control of e5 <laughs> then it's it's morales there's like a 99% chance that your opponent is Morales if they have excellent control of the E5 square, in my experience. Damn, dude, are you serious? You have Rook G4? Whoa. What? What is this? Dude, what is this? Are you even kidding me? So this is Chess Kuda? Is that seven or eight? He told it, it was him. He gave himself away. Wow. I was wondering if I could sack my queen. Chesskudo, your play in this game was a little irrational. What if I sack my queen? Like rook g8. Rook takes queen, rook takes queen. Presumably d4, rook takes g2 check. And then bishop d6. I mean, I'm kind of curious. But thanks for the free guess. Um, that was a little bit cheap, but we got credit for it. So who didn't I find? I wonder if you could have taken with the pawn there. Totally you. Um, I guess. Hmm. 
White's play is um, causing trouble for me. I don't know if this is sound. Under the circumstances, cheesy noob. <clears throat> Not Adesso got a little too experimental in the opening, clearly. Bob, do you really think goulash is a pasta dish? It can be. You can eat it with pasta. Italian Hungarians <laughs> eat pasta goulash. Hungarians eat pasta, but it's not not real primary not a primary um, thing to do not not a major thing basically traditional goulash is, is like a kind of beef stew essentially All right, man. There's some people missing here. No, no clue. It's like egg noodles. It's um, what is it called in English? No kedli. Uh, in Hungarian, it's um, what's the word? Dumplings. Dumpling. Antonio. We have no no King's Indian bishop to attack you with. This is this is the problem with the Abadis attack. And Morales isn't even a, a d4 player, but he knows what he's doing here. Essentially, he's playing d4, um, King's Indian style position, with colors reversed. Hard to execute an attack in this position without my dark square bishop. You're doubting what? Chescudo, if I win, I get a brilliancy prize, queen sacrifice. I haven't, I haven't queen sacrificed anything in a little while. Okay, this is weird. So, I wonder who this is, man. I mean, weird player. Cormoran's not in the simul, right? Legion Legion's not in the simul. Could this be Acerbay playing white? My god, no. Asterby, where are you? Did you resign already or something? Is HTFP in the simul? Guys? Oh, I should read the list. It would be good to read the list. You already put it there. Mad Ramus put it in, but I think it's already gone past. I can't get back that far now. Can I scroll back that far to see the list that you put in? I'm concerned it's gone. Oh, there it is. No, that's Gulyash. I can't get back to see the list. He is not on the list. Okay. Who the heck plays the white side of the Queen's Gambit like this? Like a psychopath. I can't get back that far. Uber drivers? What happened with Uber drivers game, by the way? What happened? Do we agree to a draw or something? I don't remember. Does anybody know what happened? I'm confused. 
kind of given up on the B5 plan here. Princess. Alright. Knight takes. I guess the rook is important. Who is that? Player. Player. Who is this? This is a Ruslan Nokia hybrid. Ruslan Nokia hybrid. Could be Acerbate. Trying to play the open Sicilian. Is it a Ruslan Acerbate hybrid? Damn, no. Carlo. Man, Acerbate, where are you? Where is he? What? That's all we have for results? We only have two wins, two losses? Are you serious? We saw this already. It's Harkin. Damn, join the game. Why is there like so many people streaming right now? There's some, some sort of title tournament. I've never seen that many people. Thanks for reposting the list. I got Cobra out there. Uber driver's game, I don't understand. Where did it go? Why don't why haven't I moved in the Uber driver game in like three years? I don't understand. Why why has the Uber driver game not come up in like a hundred moves? What's up with that? That seems strange. Right. God. The game against Chescudo is a miracle. It's more than a brilliancy. It's a miracle. The best brilliancies were created by sheer luck. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so why is Cobra 11's game showing? I didn't press Z. Did I hit that? This is Cobra 11. We knew that though, right? I was setting the sheepo up for like ages. How long has Bishop A6 been in the position? I missed it last move. Whoa. No, I didn't. Wait. I played Queen E7, A4, A5, and he missed it. Okay, I have, I have Bishop A6. I'm setting this sheepo up. Did we, did we show who this is? Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support today. I love doing these simuls. I'm still confused. Where's Astrobate? Where's Uber Driver? We showed this already. It's Mr. Moose. At least my bishop lives. That's uncharacteristic for Uber Driver. He's not one to use a lot of time. Actually, Astrobate either. This looks tough. He's gonna have to sacrifice his queen back to not get mated. And then he's down a piece. That's pretty rough. We showed who this was, right? I'm not down a pawn. I thought I was down a pawn. Well, that's a relief. I almost hung a bishop, though. The good news is... I'm not down a pawn, but I almost hung a bishop. Bob, what'd you do? Mr. Coffee just donated happy birthday. Merry Christmas distraction bits. Mr. Coffee, thank you, buddy. Yesterday was my birthday, Bob. In case you care. hurts when someone you deeply love doesn't care about your birthday it's funny I had um, I had a message from Weedmaster my friend Joe he doesn't have Facebook or anything like that I also have the same birthday as the Shahadi's dad Mike Shahadi I wish them a happy birthday for both of us <laughs> 
All right. Um, I'm 39 again, Bob. Can't get old if you never get to 40. Dude, is this is this game has this game been checked? This is Jim, right? Has it been checked? Schiebler. Schiebler Spieler. We know who that is. Schiebler Elves. Joe didn't know it was my birthday. He, like, sent an email about checking my mail. I was like, hey, man, you ought to get Facebook. I know you don't like it, but at least then you know when your good friend's birthdays are. Um. Whoa. What am I trying to do here? Man, where is Astrobate? This is Astrobate? I thought we already checked this. Mr. Slohan just did another cheer. 1,053. Sorry, miss, to wish you all the best for another year on this planet. Happy for, for surviving to get that donation, Mr. Slow, who just took over first place with 4,100, leaving someone on sound back in the dust. Thanks for the donation. This can't be Astrobate, right? Did we see Notch Papa? Yes! I got one again. He was one of the only people left. So I guess Notch Papa, that's what, eight? How many do I have? Eight? Nine? Damn. I butchered the opening again. I played A4, a move early. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna lose a lot of games, but at least I guessed a lot of games. <laughs> I guessed a lot of players, at least, but all these A4s, what am I doing? I don't understand where Astrobate is. Did you resign already, Astrobate? Why is that game never coming up? Where the heck is Astrobate's game? Thanks for the birthday gift, Mr. Coffee. Thanks, Mr. Slow. We saw who this was already. Princess, just you, you left us, like, mid... Midstream there or what? G five. G five is crazy. Wait, this is him. This is Asturbate. This is Asturbate. This is him. So all the time, this was him. I'm playing the hippo against Asturbate. Really? Let's see. Yes, nine, dude. Another. I don't think I've ever played a hippo against Asturbate. That's funny. All right, we got nine guesses. We knew this was cheesing him. There's nobody left except for Uber Driver's game, who I, I know he's here, he's hiding. So Uber Driver's trying to time out. Now I understand the strategy. He's trying to not move so that I can't guess him. I guess that's what it is. That has to be what it is. Bijak, I didn't guess you. All right. Well, shouldn't remind me though. You're gonna help me. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes queen d5. Queen d5. Knight d5. <coughs> I don't know about this. Master Jim. And then expecting queen g4. Since you like g4 so much, chess kuda. But I don't have to rush it. I could play h5. It's kind of sick if h5 works. But if I give him time for like bishop d5 and stuff, he'll probably kill me. I think I have to take this. Bishop d5, rook h2. I let him sack his queen. I mean, I don't think I can, can do it any other way. I can't give him time to, to play other stuff. I've got nine guesses. Going for 10. 21 still in play. But Uber Driver, dirty, man. I mean, you're clearly stalling on purpose. That's just dirty. So this must be B Jack. No, we already saw this. It was Carlo. Carlo's new. I didn't find B Jack, yes. Yes. 
Nokia player. Nokia style. It's similar to Gangnam. Um, I'll have to develop my pieces, I guess. Grabbing me. Nice try, though. If Bishop F1, yeah, whatever. No, he's getting a piece, dude. Bishop F1, pawn E5, Bishop A6. He hangs onto that. But I still, if I don't grab the exchange, I mean, it's a little bit lame. Probably gotta grab the exchange. Morales playing for the end game. Morales. Looking for end game. <clears throat> With a queen on a5, looks kind of suspicious. He's really into a queen exchange here. Once it's so bad. Feels safer that way, doesn't it? You can never get mated. Chescudo resigns. Yeah, it looks like you can stop the mate by, by giving up your queen. That's the only way. I was lucky, though. <laughs> Better to be lucky than good. Alright, I'm gonna do this. I don't wanna trade queens in the ending with less space. Here's Uber Driver, number 10. Ba bum That was easy, because he's played this against me before. He felt guilty, he was caught stalling. That's 10 guesses. My all time record, I think, was like 9. I don't think I've ever had 10. Now what do I do? It's pretty awkward. Someone has sound still has 15 minutes. It's a lot of time. Damn, what do I do? What do I do? Quick. Nike 5. I'm losing a pawn. Gotta live with it. Live with your mistakes. So that's that's all I'm gonna be able to guess, I suppose. Did I show this one? Oh, this is Sumahair. Sumahair with the attacking style, I couldn't guess you. I should have tried though. There weren't that many people left, but I'm running out of time, guys. I'm gonna settle for ten. We're gonna take off the Zen mode. Watch the back rank. I gotta leave Zen mode. Thanks for the game, Chess Kudo. Blundiferous. Man, maybe I'm okay here against Mr. Slow. He missed some chances. Man, I thought Cobra was gonna play uh, Pawn takes E5 there. Classic. Last time was a draw, right? Classic um, Uber driver. Whoa, what just happened? My mouse doing crazy scrolling. So we set an all-time guest record with 10 players. We had nine once. I know you guys. 94, 94, Bishop E4, 94. Can't do that. Naki Nanadeso clearly trying to pretend to be acerbate. He went nuts with this Owen defense. Whoa, trying to trick me. A little bit too much, but still, it's not that easy. I guess I have to take with the queen. <coughs> Pardon me. I have to take with the queen there. Okay, I didn't guess a beat on me, boy. G5, a computer like move. 
There was this game I was analyzing from the World Championship, 1935. Aliakin versus Uve, and Uve missed G5 like in the Slav three times when it was really strong. Well, at least it would have maybe saved the game, but it was so anti-positional he couldn't play it. Amiboid here has no such reservations. C takes D is a good move though. Astrobate in the in the hedgehog, I mean the hedgehog, the hippo, the other animal. Hippo, Astrobate, the anti-hippo. Alright. I always wondered what Astrobate would play against the hippo. New variant. New variant, Bob. Need to read the news. How important is that? I mean, is that going to make, like... Is that going to mean we're going to need, like, all new vaccines and stuff? Or how, how much does that affect, like, the vaccine program? Leave it to the Brits to come up with a new variant. Damn it, guys. Can you... Keep it under control there. All right, we're playing on the queen side. H6, Notch Papa, with, with a huge positional move, keeping me off of G5. Someone told me they can get you a rush vaccine. We've got Russian vaccine here for you, Bob. Coming our way, so... If you need some Sputnik, let me know. I could get it to you for cheaper than that. And the big hack is obviously, <laughs> it's not the Russians. It was the Chinese. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. What are we gonna do? H6. Obviously it was the Chinese. Of course. What am I doing here? No, we have Chinese and Russian vaccine. So both political, both American political parties would be happy here. Can make the Republicans and the Democrats happy. In Hungary, you get a choice between Russian and Chinese. So it's like, it's a true democracy. What more can you ask for? Price is right. Princess Chess. I don't know what to do. Okay, so I stalled this decision for a moment, but there's also Queen G4, which is a really interesting move. There's lots of ways to sacrifice a piece here, potentially. Even E6 has to be considered. E6. Lighting up the sky tactically. I mean, obviously I can just play Bishop E3. But I mean, it feels like there should be something here. Hungary has said that they're going to expect eventually like all vaccines will be available, but I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like there's a rollout program for the EU. It seems like it's like everybody for themselves. I expected there would be some kind of concerted effort between the EU states, you know, to work together, but apparently there does I don't see anything like like that. It's like every man for himself. What about in Greece? Knight takes d5, bishop d5, bishop d5, pawn takes f4, bishop a8. I can do this. I can do this. Knight takes d5. We can do this. Jim sacked a piece? No. It's like nuclear power. They want to save money. We could get nuclear re reactors from France for for a normal price or get a discount from Russia for less. I mean, when, you're, when you talk about nuclear power, what is what is the quality of the product matter? You go with a cheaper price. Obviously, you take the Russian offer. It's just your nuclear power plant. You know, nothing, nothing like Chernobyl could happen or anything. Um, you want to try to sort of cut corners on in unimportant things. 
What am I doing? Queen d5? <laughs> Laughing at my own jokes. Um, when it comes to nuclear power vaccines, you want to find a bargain. Don't want to get get taken to the cleaners. Man, Jim. What is Jim doing? I have to do this. Dr. Hopkins? Like Anthony Hopkins or what? Dr. Anthony Hopkins. Cannibal doctor. Doctor of cannibalism. What's happening here? What about taking on d4? Can we break up a structure? CD, queen d2, knight d2. Um, yeah, this is looking a little bit iffy for white. Morales still has a good game. Whoa. Whew. This is crazy. I assumed that I was winning this game, but it's really getting out of control. I wanted to play something here. What was it, this? And NGS is playing a little too passively, I would say. What? That's not allowed. Wait, his queen is hanging. His queen is hanging on, on b6. Did anybody tell you that? I was like oblivious. No, Harkin blundered. And Cobra's going for f6 threats, but there's too much coverage. Too much coverage. I gotta change position. Dr. Anthony Hopkins. There's Nils. First time you've seen anything. Yeah, at least. Bob's not an anti-vaxxer like some people who have left my stream. Nothing worse than the anti-vaxxers. The good thing about Bob, he's actually pretty smart. He does have some good, he does, he does have some good qualities to make up for the bad ones. I went on a, a tantrum last week along this line, but we're not going to do that again. We like that Bob has good qualities. What's the score? I counted 10, 10 namings. 10 namings thus far. Name your price. Acerbate, classic hippo with acerbate here. Why am I being abused by slash abused? I was complimenting you. I said you have lots of nice qualities. You have lots of positive qualities. I hardly call that abuse. Um, sorry, man, for complimenting you too much. I'll try not to say anything nice anymore. All right, castles for master base. So we're castling kingside. Can I safely castle kingside as well? Master base playing a good game, nice and patient. Last time he spazzed out with like knight h4 and sacked a piece for nothing. I can't believe how many games are still in play. It's weird. At least people are taking their time. Doppelganger. Bijak, I didn't find you. 
Master Chef. Well, I don't really want to trade this bishop on the long diagonal. Sorry. We're lucky we got our pawn back against Nanj Papa. I was afraid I was never even going to get that back. The awful a4 in the opening. Phew. Totally butchered my position. Now I can try f5, maybe. It's a little bit still dangerous, but we got to do something. Actually, that guy's a lot of time. MGOs. NGOs. Naki Nadesso is a good player. He's played in the streamer battle, playing really well for us again this week. Cheesy Noob in the end game. So, all right, we're surviving against Mr. Slow. Man, Jim with the just super tricky, evil knight g4. Training his training his dragons on my king here. What are you doing over there? So no matter where I put my king, there's some nasty piece in my face. Um, how about improving my other piece, this bishop? When in doubt, improve your pieces, according to Mark Ivretsky. Yes, Princess Chess, good plan. I expected that. Yes, we expected that. Breaking on through to the other side, like the doors. E5 takes. What about that? I don't know. Getting a little bit too desperate. I get nervous because of the time pressure, and I start spazzing out, but really no call for it here. Got a pawn there. Too early to start freaking out. Acerbate took with the knight on d4, which I think is like... It's okay, but it, I, I still think it's like a minor positional mistake. Safer to take with the pawn, or better to take with the pawn in most cases. It looks like he, he is more comfortable playing what looks like a... A kind of normal Sicilian structure. Although maybe it's not a bad move here. Um, knight on g3, not great. Acerbate feels... Like the structure resembles something he's more comfortable with, probably. H5 is possible. You guys are allowed to move fast if you're in time pressure. I just didn't like when people are up to 30 minutes in the first seven moves. That's why I resigned against the one guy. Bob's misbehaving again? No, he's been good today. Who's the instigator mod? I don't know, Bob Bob must be taking his meds. He's been better lately. I'm just kidding. He hasn't been on at all, so I don't really know. Bob's We miss you, Bob. You haven't been around. Haven't been around enough lately. Now what am I doing? I don't know what to do. Acerbate. Astrobate, what about e5 and d5? e5 and d5, e5 and d5, e5 and d5. It's risky. Giving Astrobate tactics. Super solid Notch Papa here. Knight b5. Is that right? Going for his white square bishop? I don't know. Bishop e3, b6. He's so solid. Lost the pawn. Check. It's a messed up position we got here. Sack my queen again. Positional queen sacrifice. That's a little bit over the top. Jim. Jim is solid. Playing some solid positional chess. He saved his queen, but he's down a piece. <clears throat> All right. Whoa. E4. Cr 
crazy. A7 is winning. Um, not a lot going on here. I need a drink. Where's my water? Water time. It's more fun to play with an account you created, right, Bob? Where's Brittany? Where's all your troll accounts? Man, Morales is going to be tough. Shoot. I'm not happy here. Get off the diagonal. <clears throat> Wait, I have knight takes c4. Staying alive. Anyways, I'm just lucky to stay alive, Mr. Mr. Slow and his classic time pressure. Stationary knights. Ooh. Ruslan, do you have You have tactics? Ruslan took his time this game. I, I was getting aggravated when he played too fast sometimes. He's doing good. I wanted to play d5. This is a hippo, right? Hippo, Sicilian, Roy Lopez. Roy Lopez, hippo, Sicilian. Amazing that this trashy Catalan that I messed up is actually decent. Though the Dark Sword Bishop is a nice piece. <coughs> the Bishop C5 is saving his life here. More than just the pawn on A7, he gets this diagonal. Gives him a chance, basically. A chance to live a normal life. What's happening? Controlling the d1 square. This has been quite an adventure. This game just gets weirder and weirder. I guess it's time for something constructive, but what? h3, it's my favorite move. <laughs> oh my god. This game is a bit much for me. I, I can't really believe that. It's happening. It looks like someone else almost has some sort of sleazy tactics. Did he blunder? There, no, no. He never blunders. I mean, there has to be. The guy has 10 minutes left. What is going on? Knight takes d4. Hitting his knight and his bishop at the same time. What the heck? Knight d4, knight f7? What the heck is going on? Knight d4, knight f7? I mean, that's unbelievable if that works. But anyway, I still like knight, knight d4 now. Do you seriously have this knight d4, knight f7, king f7? Knight d4, knight f7, king f7? Are you serious? I could play queen d4. How about queen d4? Safer. Knight f7, haha, can't do that. Queen d4 is safer. And you love, he loves trading queens. <sighs> Alright, white square. These, these games where I randomly played a4 are, are like survivable. 
neither of which was great. <clears throat> wow. Okay, so Princess Chess won't let their structure break. I missed knight g4. That's a tough one. Wow. Okay. I mean, what am I going to do? I have to play f4. What am I going to do? I have to do something. <clears throat> Bishop h5, knight f6 check. Knight f6. Bishop f6, rook f6, queen h5. I don't know, but I think my king is actually safer on h8 than on g8. Uber driver ultra. I don't know. This variation is, is a little irritating. How black can equalize. Who plays this to equalize, by the way? <laughs> He's playing the, the, what's it called? To equalize. The, you know what it's called. Okay, tactics. Whoa. Knight e7 check. <clears throat> now does the queen g4 thing work? No. Knight e7, bishop takes e7. What else can I do? I don't know. Oh no. Are you serious? a5, knight a5. b4, knight b3. Queen a2, c4, sealing me in. I don't believe it. b4, knight b3, queen a2, c4. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Pawn takes pawn. This is not happening. Damn. Not happy. Alright, 21 minutes. Guys, I can't catch all the chats, so sorry, Bob, if I ignore you for a while here. Or anybody in the chat that's trying to get my attention. Yeah, Uber Driver's solid. Very solid. But he also um, plays Bullet, which is weird. Ruslan just gave me the pawn without a fight there. Thought we were going to have a tactical fireworks or something. Trying to mate me on h6 and g7. This opening I was very nervous early on. Um, we're okay, I guess. Now I want to get off the um get off the file here to the other file wait a minute i have 96 Ooh. look how safe his kingside is though who is this guy he's super battened down <clears throat> Okay, we're just up a piece. Probably don't want to take a lot of risks in such a position. Ah. Well.
You're gonna try to sack the exchange on me? I mean, you're gonna make me sack the exchange? I don't think I have a choice. Whoa, another unexpected move. The Twilight Zone. Twilight Zone moves. Okay. I'm not even looking at Mr. Slow's clock. Jim's setting up some sort of cheapos here, trying to get me to <laughs> drop this fork on him. What's up? The fork isn't good, I'm sure. You got Queen H3 all day. I mean, my king isn't really safe anywhere I put it. I'm having doubts now about my whole decision making process. I can't believe it. This should be 5 is not a bad move. My structure is kind of crappy, but. I get rid of that monster piece. I guess it's a good thing. Okay, queen g4 again. f6, what's he gonna do? Okay, basically this game with Astrobate is an open Sicilian now. I guess we take his bishop. He still has decent play on the white squares. Speaking of which... <laughs> did I fall in some sort of trap here? Guess my knight can get out? Maybe not. Almost trapped. Okay, this is a weird position. No, Astrobate's still doing all right. He's doing all right for sure. Knights, like, look at that bishop. Sack the exchange. I'm having hallucinations. Um. Weird. This is clearly better for black, but um, I don't know. It's not so easy to break white down. Back on the chat. All right. I was thinking he's sacking the exchange, but really not sure. What's Cheesy Noob doing? He wants to attack my e4 pawn. I guess. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Good thing my knight isn't trapped by some sort of miraculous means. <laughs> Wait, what? Rook E E1. E E1? He played Rook C1 last move. Now it's Rook E E1. Now he's starting maybe D4 potentially. This is pretty crazy. E E EEG. Um, yeah, that's nice. Nice seeing you there. Would you like to leave? Please? What happened? Wow. Some sort of insanity now. Taking place here. I don't really know. Speaking of insanity, I also missed this move. Hard to predict Mr. Slow's moves. Black lost all his pieces there. That's good. 
King F8. Um, <clears throat> Mr. Moose. How strong is Mr. Moose? We played once before. I don't know, but he's playing a pretty masterful positional game. Um, controlling the way he's controlled that, but I have Rook A6 now. End game. Take the end game. Cheesy noob. Cheesy. This is pretty tense, man. I don't know where to start. You have H6? Why didn't you tell me about that? Why didn't anybody tell me about this? Nobody ever tells me anything. Still 20 in play. I can't believe this guy is playing d4 now. How does that work? Does that seriously work? Rook b1? Right? Okay, I'll take your pawn on e5 now. Don't worry. All over it. Well, Jim didn't want to double my pawns. Can't believe it. Is happening here. All out assault on my liberty. Liberty mutual. This is just giving me a headache. Giving me a headache. Total crazy. Dude, I mean, what is this game? I can't believe it. It's like the weirdest game ever. Wait, seeking counterplay. With tricky, tricky, tricky stuff. Damn. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. You're not allowed back in the game. Sorry. So this is crazy. Check this out. Wow. What? All right. So, <laughs> whoa. Okay, that's cool. Another insane position. Lots of very sort of tense situations. Craziness with the crazy tactics for all. Crazy tactics for all. My D-pawn. You want my D-pawn. How dare you. Can't believe it. Jim's a genius. I'm wasting my time. Wasting my time here. 
Wait, what? <clears throat> Spawn. No. No. More tactics? Mr. Sohan with the fake time pressure. He always has the time pressure. Knight F7 anyway. What? Oh my god. Are you even kidding me? Damn, I clicked something. New mouse. New mouse issue. Hero worship. Yeah, he's got good ingate technique. Queen h5. No. Knight takes h7? Yeah, that, that loses. Everything loses. What the heck is with this game? This is the weirdest game of all time. What is going on? It's like purposely trying to play weird. So Ruslan is the time player. Somehow he'll sneak in to, to trying to win this on time. I thought I was safe, but maybe not. Eventually cracking. Whoa. Okay, that fork is too much. It's driving me nuts. What am I supposed to do about that? B4? <clears throat> There's nothing I can do about it. It has to be avoided. Fork avoidment. Damn, Rallis with an insane positional game, dude. Really. You've outdone yourself this time. It's too complex for me to even understand what's happening here. I guess Black's just winning. I don't have a freaking clue. I really don't have a freaking clue what to do. Literally. What a game. Unbelievable. Why don't you start playing d4 based on this game, I would say. You're a master positional player. But what is there better to do? Knight d2? I'm just lost, man. This is like that game where I resigned in the beginning. I should just resign now and save myself the frustration. This is ridiculous. I'm just completely lost here. Totally wasting my time. Maybe E5. I have literally no move. It looks like everything loses. Rookie eight. What? What? Someone on sound, you've outdone yourself today. What if I play knight d4, bishop b3? Wait, I see. King f7, knight d6. 
Yeah, that's probably winning for white. So you're serious about this? You can just do this? Allowing everything to hang with five minutes left. Wow. Um, hard to believe that that works. It's crazy. Knight f6 check, another tactic. King takes, knight d6 check, king e7, knight takes c8, rook takes c8, bishop c6. I guess I have to take. Pretty amazing. Where? Where? Master? Speaking of masters, Master Asturbate, stronger than Baby Yoda. He's really toned it down to full on solid positional play. Where's my king belong here? Sensible. Ah, the base of my my pawn chain, you like. Nibbling on my pawn chain. I like yours too. Where am I supposed to go? Wait, if I play king f8, he's taking my rook, right? He's taking my rook anyway. You have to be kidding me, man. I mean, this is ridiculous. way beyond my capability to calculate that far. I'm lost against someone on sound again. Damn. Well, I can't let his knight out, I guess. Anyway, no time for thinking. Mr. Moose, I'm offering a draw here since there's no, virtually no hope of beating the Uber. The Uber man. Knight d4 unexpected. Every move is unexpected <laughs> from this guy. <laughs> from this guy, obviously. Craziest unexpected moves every turn. And what happened? Knight b3? You played knight b3. Whoa. Okay, I don't know what's going on. And what, what? New mouse. Just to, I'm adjusting to the new mouse. Just an adjust. Just a little adjustment. My chiropractor recommended. Let me guess, I'm lost. He just happens to have an internal pin with all of his pieces. Which I overlooked. Wow, another great game. Master B is like full on positional genius. So I've got guys who are like attackers playing like crazy great positional games this time. Damn. Princess Chess, seriously? You have that? Damn, 94? I have to play 94? That's a disaster. Can't play 94. Oh my god. Speaking of positional masters, dude, what is going on around here? All the tactical players are playing like positional geniuses. Alright. Damn, another move I missed.
What's the plan? Pin myself? Do I ever have a tactic? What? Okay. This is clearly a joke. Cheesy Noob does his best to create complete confusion. That's the goal. But it seems like there's a number of players here who, who overtly seem to play for confusion. Someone on sound, although he's not that tactical, plays overtly for confusion. Asturbate. I've noticed, but today he's more chill. Yeah, this player now has 13 minutes. They're 1300 in bullet. Okay. That's weird. How could you be 1300 in bullet and have 13 minutes left? You'd have to be pretty fast. This is unbelievable. You calculated all this out in advance. Just lost again. Hopeless down the exchange for nothing. That's ridiculous. I was doing well in that game. I don't even understand. Like, it, it didn't really make a lot of sense what happened. I thought I had a very active position. Suddenly I'm lost based on one tactic. Strange. But he's too fast. Just too fast. There's a lot of this going on. I'm just going to lose these games on time. Otherwise, good games are just going down the tubes. But almost everyone is playing like very patient positional chess. Very little tactical play. Look at the way Jim's just sitting on me. Damn, he's like a bullet player. It's hopeless. I just can't move. I don't have a move. I'm just in like positional Zugzwan. It's weird. Even Asturbate turned into freaking Karpov. Asturbate, when did you start playing like Karpov? Seriously. You're now playing like Karpov. Why is Asturbate playing like Karpov? Knight d3? What is that? I'm in check. All right. Oh, he's playing like Karpov because he watched you too much. Interesting. That was fast. In just like two streams, he became Karpov. Is that the guarantee? I don't think, yeah, okay. I wouldn't change his style that much if I were you. You're not taking advantage of his strengths if you turn him into Karpov. I don't think it's a good idea. Alright. Is my knight trapped yet? You've been trying to trap for like 17 moves. Is it trapped? Karpov as well here. This guy's 1300 in bullet, but he has the most time of anybody. I'm just gonna start flagging. <laughs> Queen H3, what? What is that, man? What is that? A tactic on my rook on c8? Dude, seriously? What the heck is going on here? <sighs> I 
Master Bait has natural tactical talents. Not allowed to turn him into Karpov. His style of attacking is excellent. You know, he just needs to, it needs to be honed a little bit. Chef Mast, I just offer a draw. I mean, this is such a boring position, honestly. Chef Master also became ridiculously solid. But I mean, this position is, wow. I, I'm just like clearly better. Uber driver's almost on, I'm Uber driver. He's almost unbeatable. Freaking Notch Papa. I can't believe it. I, I don't remember the last time I won a game against him. It's been a long time since I won one. That guy has 14 minutes more than anybody in the entire stream. I mean, it's pretty scary when you, you have more time than Amoeboid. Speaking of Princess Chess, you get another pawn? What? What the heck? Like, who is this guy? He can now move instantly. Okay, Karpov. Whoa. Man, I mean, Mr. Slow is so tricky. He's, like, worse. And, um... Finding ways to like play for a win from a worse position. This game with Jim is driving me crazy, dude. Seriously. So much tension. Wait, what's up with his knight? It's a weird position. <laughs> the 15 minute 1300 bullet player seems ridiculously strong now. They're getting stronger and stronger. Ruslan again, saving an unbelievable position. I can't believe it. He is 1900, but he plays a very, very unorthodox game. Dude, with the, the, the knight there. <clears throat> Terrible time pressure for me. Karpov, what's up? He didn't get the white square bishop exchange he wanted. Man, but this guy, where did he come from? Seriously, dude, what's up with your rating? 1900 rapid, 1300 in bullet, and you have 15 minutes left? What's the, he must be real inconsistent. Why are you 1300 in bullet if you're that fast that you can only use five minutes against me in the whole simul? That doesn't seem consistent. I don't know. This is crazy. So much better the whole game. 
and I still can't beat him. What? Rook takes. Morales. Time panic. Can we survive against Morales? What? I don't know. My queen is going to get checked. An inconvenient time. Or I'll get my queen forked. Nanadesso is like a bullet player. And Jim is brutal. With attention. This player just plays faster and faster. With no problem. Weird. Aspate's trying to sneak me. How do I hold that pawn on, on e7? I have to take it with the queen. Hold it with... You're on two of my pawns. Oh, man. Now what am I going to do? Wow, look at that. He's got e7. Oh, my God. What do I do? Wow. Here we go again. Just a genius. Saves this game. Unbelievable. Damn. She seems to be in an interesting position. What? You're avoiding the exchange of brooks? What is that? Is that a, a winning attempt? Whoa. Rook A2. Okay. Seen some crazy stuff today. That's an amazing move. Wow, another amazing move. Check this out. He's unbeatable. There's no way you can beat this guy. Four minutes left. What? I'm Mr. Slow. This is unbelievable. Now I lose my pawn? Really? Wow, with no time left, he found that. That's sick. Alright, whatever. So it's over. I screwed up. Here we go. I have to just give everyone draws. This is ridiculous. Or else, what are you doing? Fifty five seconds left. <sighs> Amoeboy now has five minutes left. Dude, this is the craziest thing ever. Wait, what? Oh, you've got that fork too. Perfect. Mr. Slow is up to some special stuff today. Wow, that's, that's kind of neat. Special tricks today, using no time. Unbelievable. I just unbelievable. I like this guy. What am I doing? It's really weird. I mean, I'm just gonna resign. Whatever. It's the strangest thing. He got strong and fast really, really quickly there. 
whatever. It feels kind of hopeless against that guy, the 15 minute guy. Whatever. The time game is really strange. We're seeing here from some people, credible play. Cheesy noob, I finally blundered. You can be happy. Amiiboid is lost, but he's the master of tricks, playing for time. This has been weird. I guess I can win, but still kind of touch and go. Check in A7. So many good positions, I'm just not, not winning. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Morales, are you serious? You really did that. Queen d3. That's crazy. This is the weirdest game of all. I feel like he's been playing with me almost. It's like mind boggling. What? I can't believe the games I can't win. We should be winning here. We're actually going to win this one. I thought that was a draw. I blew a lot of positions. Am I mated? Whoa. Check. I'm probably missing something, but I'm so short of time. How is he defending this? King c5, knight there. Oh, that's so weird. This has to be winning for me. <clears throat> the new Karpov. How is this position not a win? It's got to be a win. I mean, that's crazy. With his knight there, pawn up in an endgame. Sumihara has 15 minutes, almost as much as that other guy. How do you have so much time, dude, left? What is happening here? D7? Oh my god, are you kidding me? What? You gotta be freaking kidding me. You just happen to have rook d4? This is unbelievable. Are you serious? You knew that? I can't believe it. What the F? You just conveniently have that move. Oh my god. It's unbelievable. Whatever. I can't believe it. You just pinned my queen. I can't believe I'm losing that game to Princess Chess. Feels like Nan Nakia Deso is like playing with me the whole game. I just dropped my e5 pawn. Totally on tilt. I just totally tilted. Of course. 
completely winning against the Miiboid. I haven't beat him in 100 games, at least. There's so many people like this that I can't beat every single week. It's just brutal. It's so frustrating. How is everybody so good? Bishop takes, queen takes. I might get a draw here if I'm lucky. I can't believe the princess chess. I thought I was winning and she's just winning by force. Are you serious? It just works like that. It's so easy. Oh my god. It's just lost. I don't know, Ami Boyd. You're too fast for me to play against. I don't have a chance in this format. Honestly. But I feel like this guy has just been playing with me. I have no chance. The whole game was like a troll, it feels like. Now it's a theoretical draw. Mr. Moose is going to draw. Are you even kidding me? This can't be a draw. I felt like Nanadessa was playing like as weird as you can possibly play and not lose. That was the strategy of the entire game. See how weird he could play and, and not not actually lose the game in the process. Thanks, Bob. This is a great time to do that. I really appreciate it. Incredibly, I appreciate it incredibly. You're such a jerk for doing that. Please don't create your troll accounts and do it on a Sunday. Save it for another stream. You're obviously Jennifer Shahadi, we all know that. It's not a coincidence. Anybody could figure that out. But you want attention desperately. I understand. You can't stand it without getting attention. Dude, because you just did that, and everybody knows it. So stop pretending you didn't, okay? Seriously, why distract me when I'm melting down and losing all my games? Why would you want to do that? If you're my friend, I don't think that's really appropriate. Why do you want to troll me? It's distracting. And I've told you a hundred times not to troll me when I'm when I'm doing a serious simul. It's not a big deal, forget about it. But I just ask you not to do it, and then you're gonna lie and say it's not you, you know. It's ridiculous. At least own up to it, you know, admit you're Jennifer Shahadi. Be a man and just admit it, you know, instead of lying. You could have the self-respect to, to admit it, that it's you. So frustrating. I can't believe Mr. Moose is going to draw. That's hard to believe. Pretty hard to believe. Down a full, what was it, a rook? He's already drawn me once before. Wow, I don't remember this. So some other game. This is the second one. Technical draw, probably. Nine wins, seven draws, seven losses. What started as a really good simul just melted. It's unbelievable. I actually was, was in a good position, I think, in the simul early on. But it's like no one no one makes mistakes and it's it's unbelievable. You're freaking kidding me if this is there's no way to win this, right? 
Mr. Moose. Astrobate lost. But I mean, how is it possible that no one makes mistakes? Mr. Moose is going to draw down a queen for a rook with no, no problem. It's unbelievable. Okay, this is obviously lost. It's a 1400, I can barely beat him. You know? I can barely beat 1400s on Lee Chess. I'm surprised Mr. Moose doesn't win, honestly. He's 1600 in bullet. Man, how can I blow this position? What was it? I'm making a queen. He sacks. He sacks this. This position to reach this fortress draw. It's unbelievable. And he knows it's a draw. In advance. Like what? This is really counter. Just counter to the whole thing. I mean, that's clearly over. But this is painful. So Mr. Moose lost the whole game. Easily makes a draw in this in this ending here. That's unbelievable. How did that happen? We're gonna win this one, great. It's pretty it's pretty depressing. When when you're unable to win any of your games, Mr. Slow. Not like one of the tough games do I win here. Now Black will have like a stalemate or something. White will have a stalemate defense. There's still theoretically chances I could win this. People don't even resign when they're like down a rook. But did anybody resign? Maybe one? I can't even make progress. Can I play? Yes, I can. I can play king g5, f6 check. Queen f6. Queen f6, king f6, king h7. No, it's a draw. Force draw. What do you mean, you resigned? Jim, you didn't resign. I couldn't have won against you. Why did you resign? So if king g5, it's a force draw. So Mr. Moose instantly sees the moves now. What's up with that, dude? He's offering me a draw now. Dude, what, who are you? Seriously. You're offering me a draw now? For real? You rage quit? Dude, who would offer a draw in this position? That's just this. And how are you so sure so quickly? It's unbelievable. How do you know that endgame so instantly? You're 1600 in bullet. And you're just 100% sure. That's um pretty amazing. He's offering a draw because he knows it's a draw already. That's how. 
I don't deserve to win against Jim. That's totally unfair. He's better the whole game. Why doesn't this guy resign? Check out the play by the guy in the end game in that in that position. How does a 1600 bullet player play a fortress rook against queen perfectly using no time, you know? You couldn't offer a draw unless you know it's a draw. I mean, if you're offering a draw and you don't know it's a draw, that's that's weird. Uh-huh. Bjack, you're the only one who lost. No, good game. You were fine. You know, the, the bishop versus knight in game. You shouldn't trade queens, probably. That's very tough. I think you should keep the queens on the board with the queen and knight against queen and bishop. Morales was winning and didn't win. Jim was clearly better and, and didn't win. You know, I'm just pissed at, at how bad my game goes down in the time pressure you know I mean to lose seven games is ridiculous I don't remember the last time I had a good result this guy's pissing me off why would you play this out dude do you have any respect for me at all it's like <sighs> nobody would resign down a queen against an IM man show some respect for your opponent seriously um Check this 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 fortress end game with Mr. Moose, dude. How can you be so confident in the end game, moving instantly? Where is that game? That's a hard end game to hold. Why don't I go back to my Simo? Where's Mr. Moose? So check this out. From the point where he played queen c8, I mean, I'm completely winning. I have to be completely winning here. a5, bishop f3, a6, bishop takes, takes, e3, takes. I'm like, the game's over. You know, there's no way you can possibly hold this. Check, king h7, a7, rook takes c3, rook check. Computer doesn't know what's going on here. We need a table base. It's going to say plus three. <sighs> you can't go by the evaluation. So I'm an idiot. I should have played rook takes rook. Man. I didn't even think about it. That's unbelievable. I thought I was just... I thought I was just winning fancy, you know? You just play rook takes rook, rook takes rook, and rook b8, and it's over. I mean, that's ridiculous to not win this. This is sick. But I don't expect a 1600, 1800 player to know how to draw this fortress ending easily. Computer thinks I can play h5. Normally his rook needs like two, two squares where it can rotate back and forth, where it's defended by a pawn in order to um, to save the game. So, I can't believe it. Just completely tilted. Again, I still don't trust the computer's evaluation here. Well, I mean, how do I make progress? You know, how the heck do you make progress? Rook a8. Rook a7, and now the ultimate blunder, king f6, and offers a draw. He, he knew to offer a draw here. He had already calculated all the king and pawning game. 
Like, dude, that's pretty quick. I calculated it. Yeah, I said it on the stream. I think it's a draw. I'm so pissed at myself for not winning this. This is this is embarrassing. Djok. I mean, all these games, like, come on, I mean, Notch Papa was on the verge of disaster the whole game. And he managed to get a draw. Look at this. Check his game out. This has got to be lost for Black at some point. This is unbelievable. I played the opening like an idiot. My advantage is huge in this end game. Peter doesn't think so. Interesting. Wow, I'm not winning. Thought I was winning. It's a draw. So let's check the final score. I thought I was I was like winning. But engine doesn't think so. takes forever to analyze a game. Damn. Alright. Bjock asked about his game. I think that if you don't trade queens, it's okay. Your problem was losing a pawn and trading queens. This game I, I tilted and resigned. This is the weirdest game ever. It's like he's trolling me by playing bad on purpose. I don't really understand what the deal is there. Non Kia Deso is like master strength and blitz, but he plays the game like he's trolling. Alright. What do we got? B Jock, you asked about your game. I gotta go soon. I'm trying to get over this. My worst simul ever. Alright, where's B Jock? Seriously, like my worst result of all time. It's gotta be close. Why why can't I win a single game? Against anybody. Where is the never the game you want to find is here. Where the hell is it? Where is it? I I, I don't understand. Bassman, Sumahair, Princess Chess, Cobra, Mr. Moose, Cheesy Noob, Jim. It's not there. It's not in the list. Where is um Where is this game? Oh yeah, he's Sumahair. I'm sorry, I'm thinking that his name was B Jack. Yeah, yeah. Alright. So it looks like you're okay. You're actually winning somehow. Oh, you had a win here. Pawn takes e6. Whoa. I felt it. That I was in trouble. I didn't see this. Bishop e6, bishop e6, bishop f6. I mean, that's... Check. I might have seen this, actually. Opening was great for white. You played really well. Here, I think this should be a draw probably. But it's not easy. You know, you're in a very difficult endgame with the bishop versus knight. And the weakness of h4 doesn't help. You don't want me to get the pawn on a5. Maybe you could have played a5 at some point. Even here, like a5, you don't want your pawn to get fixed on the wrong color. I mean, I think this. This is a little bit of a problem later on, you know? It's not a pleasant endgame, though. I don't know where you actually were lost. Apparently, you were lost at this point. It started with me playing a5, and basically, you just lost the pawn. I mean, this is just a one move blunder. You should probably not be able to save the game after a bishop takes a4. You're down a pawn in a rook and bishop versus rook and knight scenario, which is the worst. The rook and bishop coordinate much better than the rook and knight, plus my pawn is outside, which is the worst. For the knight to have to stop a rook pawn is the worst possible. No, you should never ever sacrifice a pawn there going into that end game. In fact, you should have fixed your pawn on, on a5, probably. Princess Chess, I was pissed about that game. I completely got lost my lost my mind I thought I was winning 
and I resigned. I mean, there may be some way I can save the game. I resigned prematurely. I can't believe it. What? I was winning? How was I winning? I'm just queening the d-pawn if I play g5. It's funny, I saw g5, but I figured you just play knight g8. No big deal. And I'm winning after knight e8 check. No, I saw g5, but I really didn't think it was such a big deal. I thought I was lost in the final position. Am I not lost? Wow. There's a way to hold this. It just looks like rook d4 and it's over. I'm freaking out, you know? Wow. I couldn't see how to even draw here. I'm losing the d6 pawn. I'm losing the f5 pawn. I'm going to be like two pawns down. How do I even play on? Rook d4. I mean, I admit like I was winning earlier. Okay. But I mean, I thought I was just lost here. I couldn't find a move. I'm dropping this pawn. You have a better king. Probably my d6 pawn is falling. Yeah, I mean, I had g5, but I saw it. But you also, you know, didn't have to have a lost position, I'm sure. You were doing all right. Taking on f5, I guess, was risky. I can't believe I just couldn't even see a move here. I thought I'm winning. And then I'm like, oh my god, if I play d7, I, I definitely lose, right? This is my main problem. I'm, I'm just completely lost after rook d4. And what do I do? You know, what am I supposed to play here? This is a nightmare. If it was a tournament game, maybe I could have had the wherewithal to, to try to play this out. But I have like a minute left and I'm losing on time in all my games and I can't find a move. What am I supposed to play? d7 loses. Any kind of active rook move doesn't do anything. So I have to find some sort of amazing resource. I just didn't see it. This is much harder than you think. It's like plus one. You think I can collect c5? Rook here, rook f5, rook f5, king f5, rook c1, and I probably hang on after rook d6. Not an easy endgame to survive. Black's very active here. You know, I mean, at best, it's like a torture where I'm barely making a draw if I play like a computer. Um, it may not be lost, but I definitely need time, you know. But I mean, I was like, I already spent two minutes on trying to find a move. It's a disaster. I was pretty pissed. Mr. Slowhand game, another one. It's unbelievable. I just fell off a cliff. But every time he's down to his seconds in increment, it's impossible. He's taking such a huge risk here, the way he played this, by the way. To let me keep this pawn, it's unbelievable, the way Mr. Slow played. Dude, seriously. I mean, I thought, I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. It's unbelievable he found a way to play for a win here. I thought he had played recklessly, gone too far. If anything, you know, I'm like a tiny bit better. I'll make a draw here easily. Check this out. I have this crushing pass pawn on d5. He goes knight c5 and just takes my pawn on a4. He totally doesn't care. I play queen f5 in time pressure. This is such an idiotic move, but I have to try to save my a pawn. And now I'm just going to lose. I have a crushing pass pawn on the d file. He has the deformed king side. F5, man. I was okay, but I lost again. Knight c3, and I couldn't find a move. I just froze. This is unbelievable. Another torture position. The same exact thing as princess chess. I was better or equal, and now I'm like, I can't even find a move. All at the same time. Minus one. I can draw if I play like a computer from this position. It looks like. <laughs> well, I mean, I can't play that fast. 
it's why I suck at three minute, you know. It takes me time to play at an international master level. I can't play like bullet chess like like accurately um amoeboid. You know? Once you get me down to a minute, I'm I'm screwed. There's no way. I'm gonna be able to play good moves. All you have to do is survive till I get down to one minute and you're basically out of the woods. That's what you do. This is ridiculous though. I was so pissed. You know, how can I lose this position? I lose in one move. I played rook g3 check, king h8, and now there's a fork here, and there's a back rank. So if I try to play any move, I lose. Any move. You know, rook, rook e1, rook a1, whatever. Everything is lost. It's just, that's painful to lose that. I mean, I've been completely fine for the last, like, 20 moves, and I just lose. So it was it was a nightmare. Man, this guy, by the way, another painful loss. I actually resigned in a better position, but he had 15 minutes left. Wow. He had 10 inaccuracies, one mistake, and no blunders. I had four inaccuracies, one mistake, and one blunder. But the time was devastating. Wow. This was weird. A weird game. He played d4 here. Sacking a pawn. I mean, that's pretty confident. You're sacking a pawn. I'm a pawn up and I'm not even better, according to the computer. This was a really weird game. But I saw my opponent's rating is like 1300 in bullet and I started freaking out. You know, how are you 1300 in bullet and you've played the whole game in five minutes? How the heck is he 1300 in bullet and he's like 1900 in rapid and plays the whole game in five minutes? I mean, that's brutal, dude. He had more time than anybody. How can a 1300 bullet player be that fast? Astrobate. Astrobate had a good, uh, a good game for a while. The game turned on bishop d5. This is why I said he was turning into Karpov. He understood the, the white square strategy of controlling, not only controlling the center, but also trying to trade off my, my, my bishop pair, which is huge. This is such a classic move, but bishop c8 is, you know, it's possible I have something better. I, I couldn't calculate tactically, but this is a Karpov Sasanko. I mean, Sasanko Karpov. Speaking of Karpov, you know, the idea of playing bishop c8, it's a famous, famous idea. Where Karpov avoids the exchange of bishops in a Catalan, actually, similar nature. I don't want to trade pieces because my bishop can still come out this diagonal later on. And your pieces are kind of in each other's way. Maybe that's not the best move tactically, but it avoids the danger. Well, it's strange to have 10 inaccuracies and no mistakes. Do you know how hard it is to do that, Shiva Spieler? Do you have an understanding of how difficult that is to do that? You know, I challenge you to try to have 10 inaccuracies and like no mistakes in one of your games. That's um, not easy to do. Usually when you have like five inaccuracies or more, you're going to have like one or two mistakes or blunders. It's uh, very rare to see 10 inaccuracies and no blunders or... Um, mistakes all right guys thanks for playing thanks for beating me up it was fun um back tomorrow but i gotta start a little bit earlier tomorrow i've got um something at one o'clock so the stream's gonna start at 11. someone on sound i didn't even touch on your game this one i played well against astrobate one of my better games 20 cpl Thanks everybody for playing. Um, tomorrow's stream will start at 10 
45. My immortal game against Chescudo. Yeah. Why? Well, I, I always do that, though. I don't give myself credit for my wins. I judge myself very hard. And, um, that's always. I could win like $30,000 playing poker and not even celebrate it, you know, and be angry the next day, the next day that I lost like a thousand dollars. That's my personality. I don't have a party or something when I win. I take the competition really seriously and I, um, but I do take my losses really hard. You know, I've always pushed myself like that. I don't, um, I don't know if that's a good way to be, but that's basically how I am. You know, I never really brag or try to show off my good games. I just want to play well and um, was disappointed today because I felt I had a lot of potential but everything sort of melted down. The game against Chess Kudo was <laughs> it was funny. Um, I like this game too. The first one I resigned. I mean I don't know how strong my opponent was but speaking of... Okay he's provisional of course. It was a bad blunder in the opening. Just like it's already a very very bad line for black but I played like this horrible move it's unbelievable Kovalenko did this the thing about Kovalenko that you have to understand is that um, he's he's like this impulsive blitz player he plays like entire long games in in five minutes so I'm not entirely surprised that he played this move but um yeah this is immediately Bishop g5 I took the pawn like an idiot, and um, here apparently even bishop f6, bishop f6 is even stronger according to the engine. But I realized what I was doing after he castle queenside. It's lost for black. There is no way to do this. Um, just kudo could have played on by like sacrificing his queen. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to see that though. I think this was a valid resignation. I didn't want to cheat anybody out of a game, but I, I'm not going to play like in a lost position. I clearly blundered there. Funny that someone else did that. Kovalenko, <laughs> he did it against me. He played like bullet chess in a tournament game. It's basically I lost like I always lose on time because of time pressure someone on sound uh, we should go but um, I was very upset about this too someone on sound has the best performance though 14 CPL of anybody that I've seen so far so I tried d5 and you're all over me basically I was hoping you would take back on e4 but you found stronger. You said something special about this move. D4. Uber driver, yeah, our game was perfect, but we've rehearsed that already, you know. Um, that's easier for us, because we played one game that was very similar. I thought I was, I thought I, would, I had done something, you know, creative here. But he just uh, gives me, this is unbelievable. I mean, you can just give me the pawn on d4? Wow, what can I say, man? You saw this with knight f7? That's, uh, no, hats off to your calculation. I, I realized over the board, you know, that on knight d4 you have uh, knight f7, but it looks like that would have been a better way to go. I couldn't calculate that much. You know, this is beyond me. But, but someone on sound had seen everything, I guess. It's a pretty impressive game, dude, honestly. You know, I um, I guess I should have taken my chances with 94, but I guess I thought there was something better here. I guess I blundered. I had a lot of options. I could have played 94, and I was like, oh, heck with it. You know, I'll play the other way. This would have been better. This would have been much better. I made the wrong decision. You know, this is not that bad. I'm down a pawn. It's for some reason, I just forgot about the line you had in the game. I just forgot. I don't know what I was thinking. I really don't know. 
what I was thinking. I started thinking about like night takes here. Something crazy. It's just totally over. Cheaper Spieler, I'm gonna start at ten forty five tomorrow. Yeah, a little a little earlier than usual. But someone on sound, this was probably the best game, the most accurate game anybody played. Well, except for the ten move guy. Um interesting stuff. And um Yeah. No, it's a tough, tough crowd. <laughs> I got pretty angry toward the end. I mean it's pretty frustrating. I don't know how many games I didn't win. Cheesy noob cheesy noob is you know. Look at this graph. This is this is like my day. Cheesy noob's graph. The 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 bowl. Cheesy noob went from, from zero to minus three, then then it was minus two, then it was minus two again, then two point five. And then the time pressure. That's my life. Um, all right. Anyway, Cheesy Noob also was mastering the inaccuracies. <laughs> we both were. Lots of inaccuracies. Yeah, I normally don't have time. I should go to bed. But anyway, it's hard to fall fall asleep um, after these these simuls. So I'm talking about it a little bit. Yeah, lots of tough games. It's hard. But she's going to be went a little over the top in the opening. I'll be back tomorrow morning at, um, yes, 11, no, 10.45. Trying for an early start. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing and for supporting the stream. Um, I don't like losing, so I, I take it pretty hard when I lose. I know I seem really grumpy. Um, but that's how I am. I can't really change it. We will be back tomorrow morning at 1045 and we'll be playing Blitz and Rapid Chess. Thanks everybody for, thanks everybody for supporting the stream. The Jace, JCS, thank you man. And Mr. Coffee for stopping by. We'll see you all right tomorrow. It's tiring. I'll be back somehow tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Bye.